You just wasted a second of my life. Welcome to Slightly Ajar Treasure Chest and Happy Thanksgiving! Yay. Turkeys. Turkeys, or Happy Turkey Day um, or for you. Soy turkeys for the vegetarians out and, there. Yeah, absolutely. And since this is a podcast, you can actually listen to this anytime, and it could be Turkey Day any day with Slightly Ajar Any Treasure day you Chest. want it to be. Exactly. And that's Satch for all you guys who don't know, and this is your first time checking us out. Thank you for joining us. You can check us out at Facebook slash satchvgm.com that's s-a-t-c-h v-g-m dot com so today we have a amazing show i'm your host just mark if you're just joining us if you're not thanks for coming back um nate bit everyone hello nate bit hello everyone there's a round of applause somewhere I'm, I, just, I, just, I was gonna start clapping but i yeah. think it would just be no. super sad <laughs> exactly <laughs> one guy clapping who's, who's clapping who is that <laughs> and uh our producer ed for the win ed say anything you want um shablagoo shablagoo yeah ed for the win's a giant you just wasted giant a second yeti we life. found in michigan <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know if anybody got that and chris sandwich the the fourth oh um, chris sandwich he may be the fourth but he is the first when it comes to deliciousness yeah and my heart <laughs> and sandwiches so delicious delicious heart sandwiches there delicious heart sandwiches when Just, when they cut you is it is it corner to corner or is it like halfway cut it's crustless oh corners. nice Ooh. nice i used to hate the kid who's like i want the crust off <laughs> before i eat this Rosa, take this back. I don't trust people that don't eat that. <laughs> Rosa, you have a Mexican maid <laughs> making the sandwiches. No, 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 no. No, no, no. you just no. a super man. No, here. You cut. You cut. <laughs> Thank you, family guy. So today's show is actually going to be dedicated to Thanksgiving. And, you know, we've actually had just a full menu of last episodes and really some bright themes for you guys. Um, if you go back and check out episode eight, we did a live show. Um, for the Black Ops 2 release, which was really live and really fun. We got out to see a lot of people. Uh, it went great. you know. Surprisingly we, we, went well. Yeah, yeah I, was, absolutely. Yeah. I was pretty happy with it. Uh, we didn't get booed. Yeah, we didn't get booed. We did get heckled a little yeah, bit. We got, yeah. a little, we got a little kid heckled. We got punked yeah, out I mean, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Nine-year-old <laughs> Jewish Ten, kids yeah. sitting Ten in front of the kids, line man. for Call of Duty. No one cares. Get out of here. <laughs> Where are your parents we don't like at? video game music. What is that? I don't, I don't play. It was, it was difficult. I, honestly, it was difficult just, you know, kind of getting some of that old, older music across. But, like, I think they my, started to feel it. Yeah, my favorite part was when uh, his face was when we told him the, the guy won his place in line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, that that feels, I feel awful, but, but, it but, definitely I, but made I've been my waiting here all day. Steal his place in line. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So right uh, along with just it being Thanksgiving and it's the time of giving thanks. Speaking of the holiday season. <laughs> and not the, being take yeah. up in debt as against 13-year-old kids. Boom. <laughs> we The theme of the show is about it's games like, we are thankful for. How, specifically yeah. music tracks. Yeah, specific tracks that you just don't get tired of. The ones that you listen to and uh, you know you put it as your cell phone ringtone or... You know, just whatever you, you you can to listen to it more often. Yeah, think think about. I mean, think about your you know all time favorite story movie, and in this case, video game. And you know, when you hear this song, you hear this theme. This is it. It's. I mean, honestly, think about the Star Wars kid who is now the 65, 68 year old Star Wars man who dresses up like Darth Maul and just you know loves the intro Star Wars theme. Think about that guy. You know what I mean? You play that music, he probably wets his pants in front of anybody and just like... He probably avoids it, man. He had, he had some issues when he was younger. Uh, pl- clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. I mean, I mean, like, because bef- after that. <laughs> but, you know, those... I mean, there are certain stories and there are certain, again, games and music that really just, like, resonate. You're like, this song comes on, you're like, yes. Absolutely. So, we're going to get to those songs. But first, Ed for the win with... The news. Here's the news. Here come. 
comes the Ed with the news. So I think April O'Neil, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like she's just rising up to that. <laughs> just dun, out dun, of the dun, ground. Dun. It's yeah. just Ed As with the a statue flying away. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of uh, Turtles of Time, yes. mm -hmm. Crane came in <laughs> and he flexed. <laughs> <laughs> and then he grabbed the Statue of Liberty and flew off. <laughs> That was it. Like April Neal. It's the only way you can April, do it. April Neal uh, saying something. We don't care about. Big Apple. Crane. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I never had a problem with that till just now. <laughs> like, that super, like, I, all these years, I'm like, wait a second. There's that so many the flaws in there. Ever seen <laughs> it's, stuck. It, it's pretty bad. I mean, at least they give us a story. They give us a pretty story. They're like, yo, okay, wow. You can't do that. <laughs> as, as a kid, I was devastated. I was like, oh my God, someone take the Statue of Liberty. We need that's a beacon of our freedom. Crane, America. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And here's the news. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There's an awesome I, intro. I totally need a yellow jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but here's the news. There's a few games dropping this week. Excellent. Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed. Is anybody else excited for this game as I am? No. I don't know how excited <laughs> you are for it, but I feel like I'm at least, like, just a little bit behind you. I'm okay, yeah, I'm glad, because if you haven't played it, it's uh, personally, I think it's better than Mario Kart. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just the new one, at least you know, it's it's faster and amazing. You just you gotta try that game. It's it's actually pretty well made. You know, I'll ch I'll check it out a little bit off of your recommendation because I've I've always been personally turned off from some of the Sonic Racing series. They are on the borders and then actual racing, and I'm like, it just the trailers I've watched several times, and I'm like, it just doesn't take me away from Mario Kart, and that's what I need. So it's, I like the faster element when you said that because I've played. There's a lot more drifting involved, yeah. And it, it looks like just based on the the videos I've seen of the new one, yeah. it's it looks like they fixed a lot of the flaws from the first one. So I have pretty high hopes for it. Yeah, I, I feel like this is the first like Sonic racing game that is not like blatantly trying to be Mario Kart. They're trying to mm -hmm. like finish and you know, hone in what they had with the last Sonic game, uh, racing game, which was trying to be Mario Kart. They still ripped <laughs> off the, the the items and all that stuff. Oh, of course, but, but they're going I mean, a little. They're using the same it. formula for sure. Yeah. What else is dropping, Ed? Oh, well, there's one thing I want to say about Sonic All-Stars. Oh, yeah? Wreck-It Ralph's in it. What? what? How? He's going to wreck it. That's oh, so that cool. I guess that makes sense. I mean, we should have saw more of that oh. in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. But he's in the game. Is he actually in the game, or is he just an advertisement for something in the game? No, he could race as Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck oh, Ralph. Good. So he actually yeah. gets a real role in the Sonic game, whereas Sonic in Wreck-It Ralph. I'm excited. <laughs> no role. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> it's a pretty hefty exchange. You're going to be in my game if I get to say one line in your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Make sure you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he said in Record Ralph. <laughs> Dying is bad. Don't do it. <laughs> Hitman, absolution. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down there. You can... <laughs> that needs to be at the beginning of the show. Hitman, absolution. Like, just like yeah. that, one. that needs to be it. <laughs> Hitman, absolution also comes out. It's yeah. I'm I'm okay. Yeah, whatever. Meh. Meh. Well, I mean, this uh, is a new team on it, right? This one. All I know is that there's sexy nuns in it with guns. There's what? There's nuns that like so come did out. You say sexy nuns? Yeah. Oh, those are my favorite kind. They they come out as normal nuns, then they throw off the robe become and they got sexier? like S and M gear on and try to kill Agent Forty Seven. Yes, yes. Yes. Agent Forty Seven. I don't know. I'm kind of not like super stoked on this game just because Hitman or Agent Forty Seven doesn't look anything like Timothy Oliphant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does he, does he need the to movie? Be? Yeah. Uh, anyway, clearly, am I the only one that saw yeah, the movie? Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> clearly what the the movie was based on. Or the, the game was based on. <laughs> Anyways, great series. Um, obviously, before you continue that long, and uh, you know, um, we're not that great in it but uh good luck good no one here no one here's a huge fan good, but i heard it got oh, okay reviews good luck i played the original game with sarah fun but yeah i haven't played blood bunny was good it is nice yeah. to see something like that's not like a shooter come out this holiday season and maybe try to be like a a, a single a nice single player i mean assassin's creed of course is probably didn't take that mm -hmm. market and just run over it but yeah this is one of the few games where it's cool like you, you, the whole game isn't based on killing things wait mm -hmm. it well, actually yeah, is. yeah well, it totally is but is. you're not just running around and just being a dude bro about it and blasting everyone <laughs> possibly dude can. bro well the very uh, the other hitmans you could uh like the game was set not to kill a guard like it didn't want you to this one like you could kill a lot more people but either way well it still wants you to kill your main objective and like leave everyone else <clears throat> but another game coming out family guy back to the multiverse next <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say about that? I don't know. I haven't really done much research yeah, on it. Yeah, neither have I. 
But cool. I'm glad they're coming yes. out with another mediocre game. Yep. PlayStation All Stars is Battle Royale. You know, I got some um, time to play this over my friends as we had the uh, little demo. It's a great game. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, great game. And you know, I I, I was expecting just a super rival to Super Smash Brothers, and it was something so different that I was just like, oh, so know. different. Yeah, it's like, not like, so it's, different. I mean, like it's pretty it's, much Smash Brothers. All they, they changed was how you beat people. Like, well, yeah, I mean, like that to me is it though, because we've seen there's plenty of games where these four random little characters are, are battling, and like to me, you know, having these super, you know, Smash Ball super move and all that nonsense is kind of like the the bigger element. But with this one, it's like. Uh, I don't know. It seems like a, uh, almost kind of feels like I can easily download an easy play, kind of like just get on my fucking tablet and just play it like that. It feels just a little, little easier. Not, not as intense. Easy. I wouldn't. I would, I'll, I'll agree with yeah, you. Yeah, I was gonna say I won't. I, I just don't. I don't feel there'll be too many like tournaments for this game. Not like Super Smash Bros. tournaments. Super Smash Brothers literally was like serious enough to be like Tekken almost. You know what I mean? Well, People, there's, a lot, there's yeah. a lot more. I mean, I haven't played a whole lot of All Stars, but I feel like there's a lot more skill involved with uh, Smash Brothers. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. It, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah All Stars definitely feels like much more of a like easy pick up and play button masher with familiar characters. Right. But it, it to me it is. I mean, I played the demo. I, I enjoyed it. The character mashup doesn't seem as fun to me as it did yeah. with Nintendo. Like I'm not dying to see Drake against Parappa the Rapper. Jack and Dexter, <laughs> oh boy. Not, same time, I'm not opposed to it. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just Fat Prince. You have like all these you know single player icons from Sony, and then you have Fat Princess and Parappa the Rapper. They're just I, and Ratchet and Clank. It's I'm actually, you know, it's. Mm. Uh, it's almost a generation. Oh, we can go into this all day, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. It's not even that serious. <laughs> the Walking Dead, the game, episode five, also comes out. Episode cool. fair. Still haven't gotten into that. It's the last episode. Does that mean people no are, time uh, left. People are going to die. Wait, they're Dude, gonna, people just, have been dying throughout the whole series. I don't know what shows so much I know. Is there zombies in it? Uh yeah, it's at least two. I know. Yeah. <laughs> at least two. There's at least two. That was, that was yeah. a sarcastic yeah. question. Don't think about zombies. Don't think it seriously. No. What else we got? And to the news. Black Ops Two made over five hundred million dollars uh, in twenty four uh, hours. That's crazy. So that's is that the most money ever? No, ever? No, it's not. It's oh. the most money this year. It made this at least two hundred fifty million dollars. So what, while we were talking about it last. I mean, what <laughs> rank did it put it on as far as like you know what? Where is it competing with? You said oh, for this year. This year, it's the most. Uh, it's the most inter- So the media, ho- like media piece, entertainment piece. Yeah. Okay. Like as far as like movies, music, everything, it just beat everything. Which if, I believe it. Yeah, yeah, hours, yeah, yeah. It definitely beat Halo. Yeah, I mean, that's Halo. unfair just because the Call of Duty has the PC and the PlayStation 3. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know, X- Xbox has got that exclusive. I mean, it was destined to. Last year was, you know, I mean, not even last year. Modern Warfare 3 did that big sales and toppled Black Ops, which toppled, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, they're, they they're, they're always, they're always one upping each other. You know, yeah. and like, and I feel like slightly bitter towards it because I know you, you kind of feel me on it, Mark, that mm-hmm. like we're both Halo pretty big Halo, Halo fans, yeah. you know? So, like, I'm just waiting for that day when, you know, Call of Duty just makes, like, minuscule sales. Or oh. it, it just, it just, like, just like was, what? Oh, it didn't do as well as it should have. I wasn't hoping for it to fail, but I, I kind of wanted to see just maybe a little bit of a drop-off. Maybe, yeah. like, uh, maybe $50 million <clears throat> less than last <laughs> yeah. year's. Not, like, yeah. bigger than everything ever. It's the greatest thing of life. Like, fireworks ever. Like, come on, yeah, dude. I, I, you know, it's going to be there. It's going to be there for the next 10 more years. Thing. I have to completely agree, guys. There's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's done. It's time. It's been, what, five? Is it, though? I feel like it's been, like, five years of <laughs> the, Black Ops. The numbers lie. <laughs> the numbers don't no, lie. I, I feel I'm, I can't think of another game franchise that has had this successful, this much success. Nope, because it hasn't been done. Something needs to take this thing out. Yeah, Man, nothing's Mega gonna Man. take it out. It's it's, it's time for Call of Duty 2K or whatever another like <laughs> another franchise to like come, run in and just steal it. Right. Yeah, something. And something. it's definitely not gonna be Medal of Honor because they just continue to oh. fail and embarrass themselves. <laughs> well, let's put our hands together and join us in prayer for a, a calamity that will destroy Black Ops. <laughs> <laughs> are we are we a Christian show? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that Jess Mark guy has it. <laughs> 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 Guys, we're just getting just—I mean, uh, all the likes. We're gonna get like a hundred plus likes just from that. And lose about lose a whole bunch too. <laughs> ah, it'll be all right. All There's right. actually more Black Ops news. More Black Ops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, more Black Ops. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say. That. <laughs> that's what it sounded like. Do you want more Black Cops, boy? As Chris said yes. last episode, that joke never gets old. <laughs> it's hilarious. But the pre-order map, Nuketown 2025, has been removed from the online playlists. 
Hey guys, how are we going to reward all the people that stand, stood in line and bought our game and paid $60 for it? I know, let's take away their pre-order bonus. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. so stupid. Come on! <laughs> you well, gotta be kidding me. You can still play it in custom games. It's still there, but it's... But it's you, not. But yeah, you're not getting the full benefit of it. Exactly. Yeah. That's the whole reason you pre-order something for exclusives, and they're taking it away from them. And it it's, makes me it's sad. Like, it's like giving you ice cream and then just only putting it in the refrigerator and not the freezer. It's not even that. It's giving them ice cream and putting it down their pants. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> I like... I'm not sure I understand the ice cream analogy. Yeah, I just want some and, ice cream. I don't understand I what the problem is. I was literally thinking, like, hard thought about what Nate said. I don't well, like. I, mean, I, I can explain it for you if it went over your head. I mean, it's, no, yeah, I'm I sorry if it's... Ice cream no, no, I was... I, I'm like, I'm trying to get it, so I, I didn't even hear anything you said about <laughs> your what's I No, let's keep talking about this. We can get, ice no, cream? I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're at the end of the episode talking There's about more to cream. the story. Let's <laughs> let's <laughs> dig deeper. No, yeah, no, it's, cho- it's it's chocolate ice cream. That's, that's <laughs> it. Oh. Now it makes sense. Next topic in the news. Tom Hardy will play Sam Fisher in the new Splinter Cell movie. Now, I heard it's not really Tom Hardy. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> I keep forgetting this guy's name. Logan or something? No, it's uh, Logan. <laughs> Nate, you, Nate was so busy <laughs> earlier. It's the best thing. Seven guys, cables. if you're a big Tom Hardy fan. <laughs> Who isn't? I want you guys to look up Chris, Chris Sandwich. What was his name? Logan Marshall Green. Logan Marshall Green. Because hmm. he is Tom Hardy. Okay. <laughs> the minute skinny type, version. The he minute, actually plays Tom Hardy in Prometheus. Exactly. <laughs> is, exactly. Is Tom Hardy the guy who makes all those crappy like designs and t-shirts? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's his brother Ed. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. No, I used to get that confused. I'm like Tom Hardy. <laughs> no, that, that was those that was like, baseball hats. <laughs> I'm like, oh, those are those are kind of dope. I don't like them, but well, those are kind of. When dope. we were talking about, it, I was genuinely, I'm like, really, is he the artist that did that? I was like, he's an actor too, man. Yeah. This guy's amazing. got. Him. He's he's up and coming, amazing actor. Um, I I think he's he's doing a lot of great um, great roles. He was Bane mm-hmm. and the Batman, um, and he's uh, Tommy Where is he? and then Where is he? <laughs> 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 so, uh, anyways, check out Tom Hardy and also. Google right next to him. Um, I was about to call this kid Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> Edgar uh, Allan Poe. John Wilkes Booth. John yeah. Wilkes Booth. Uh, Logan Marshall <laughs> Logan, Green. Logan Marshall Green. We'll put up on the Facebook a little side by side comparison and let you guys <laughs> see. Please. The, see, yeah. see. See Prometheus and you'll know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> you'll be like, that is Tom Hardy. But it's not really Tom Hardy. It's I Logan make a really... Marshall Green playing Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> playing whatever you never know who's who. Now, I want to make a really bad breakfast dish called Ego Allen Poe. Ego, Ego Allen Poe. <laughs> That'd be the most depressing <laughs> breakfast ever. Yeah. Don't you know? I'm depressed actually, just hearing. Don't you, you just that. love going to like restaurants and they have that weird old guy who's like, "Yes, we've made everything, and this is peanut butter and Jamaican," and you're like. Mm. I was bad. <laughs> yeah, I was really bad. Now, I mean, <laughs> I was imagining how I was going to cut that while you were talking. <laughs> I want somebody else to improv peanut butter and j- j- jelly. Excuse me. You said Jamaican, like they, cut, like they just <laughs> blended up a Jamaican guy. They just I beat him up, bowl of mashed potatoes, stick him in stew. You know, potato, potato. <laughs> so glad you know that one. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil We're going into our next part of the show. Uh, things we're thankful for. Um, songs that we already talked about earlier, but the ones that were just we, we just could listen to them every day, and, every day. You're, and you're not gonna really just get annoyed by them. Uh, and people around you will <laughs> when they hear it on your cell phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't want to call you anymore because, well, why would they call you in the same room and then hear your ringtone? Never mind. It's the uh, reason you don't pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, don't. just let it play. Why don't you ever answer my calls? Because you got a cool play. fucking ringtone. No, I'm, good I'm, I'm definitely one of those people. Like, I have the same three CDs in my car. Once those like get all dusty and scratched up, I reburn the re-burn same them. CDs, <laughs> yeah. and I play the same like playlist on YouTube every single day. What's, and, um do you, have a, do you have a song off? Of I, one of those? I do have a song. I do have a song off of uh, Mario Galaxy, and I was telling Nate earlier. He's like, "What's the track name?" I'm like, "It's track 7. <laughs> like, <laughs> does Mario actually have names? They're like, uh, "What's the name of it?" I'm like, "It's it's track seven. So here's a uh, the track, greatest song ever. <laughs> here's track seven, and I it's it's funny because I play Mario Galaxy. <clears throat> um, of course, an amazing game, but like uh, I'm playing this board. I don't know what kind of stuck with me. But it was just like the really getting 
in just getting into the game setup of the song and then the adventure of the song and kind of like really the ep epicness like you know the whole orchestra really just made the entire soundtrack just pop you know what i mean hmm. it, this was the i think one of the very first mario games actually did a full orchestra uh soundtrack as opposed to having a midi uh thing going on hmm. well nice. it paid off because <laughs> i love it you know I love it. I, I, I want to finish talking. I want to talk through this entire thing so oh, you guys can hear. Right. It's long, you know what I mean? But I, I, I'd like to. I want to talk about this song too, just because I, I just remember the feeling of like playing the first level. I, I, when I turned this game on and played the first level, I just couldn't stop smiling like I was like a 10 year old kid, you know? Just yeah. like, it was amazing. Yeah. This is just totally that adventure feel. It's Mar it's, you're in a Mario universe, you know what I mean? This is like every Mario game you started. If you, whatever Mario game you started with, whether it be Super, uh, the original Super Mario Brothers, whether it be uh, Super Mario Land, any of the Game Boy series, any uh, Mario 64, anything. You just start the first board, and you're like, wow. Well, you know, I can go anywhere. And you're in of, space. Yeah, exactly. You're in space. <laughs> you're like going under planets right now. It's bananas. Yeah, I definitely agree with Nate. Like this, this song or the soundtrack as a whole for this game just like helps add to the epicness and the scope of this game. Like with the original Mario, it's like dee dee boo doop doop. Yeah. Like with this one, it just you, you hear the open music and it adds to like the open world, the open yeah. huge feel, and you realize what you're actually getting yourself into with this Mario game. And it was like one of the best looking Wii games I've ever seen. Oh, oh yeah, God, absolutely perfect. It still is. I I, yeah. I literally feel like they made the Wii. I mean, like, off of this game. They made this game, and they're yeah, like, man, they're like, we need to be able to support this thing. This yeah. <laughs> wow, you know? So that's me. Um, just Mark here. Good pick. And yeah. there I go. I like it. Yeah. I want to hear I approve. Ed's. Mine? Yeah, I want to hear yours. Oh, it's my turn. Or so my pick <laughs> is from Chrono Cross. It's called Dream of the Shore. Dream of the Shore? Big Chrono Trigger fan. Haven't finished Chrono Cross. Whoa. Oh. I've never heard this song. That hurt me. Oh, I probably have heard this before. I beat the game. Tell us about the game. Ed. I can't tell you about too much about the game because I can't remember. Okay. But I can tell you about the song. Yeah. It, it was when you went to the different dimension, and this was the uh, overworld map music, and I would spend hours just walking around the map listening to this. Exploring. Yeah. It, it, it relaxed me and made me cry a little bit on the inside. That, that whole game is just full of like nostalgia feelings. Mm. You know, it's like it's all I could think back to. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Going back in time. Or I also it, remember there were so many characters you could pick up. But... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. He's, he's thinking right now. Um, I just want to hear. It. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, like I don't know. This, 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 this is great right. world map music. Mm. Honestly, you need it. You need it in any RPG. You need it, especially where you you know you're in the world battling up you know battling monsters literally just to level up and whatnot you need world music that you it, it needs to be good too like, it needs to be good th this is because uh, almost... you're gonna be walking in it for you know hours mm -hmm. some days you know literally i'm just gonna walk in this theme you know it could be three minutes of this before you even hit like a brr, 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 and, <laughs> and yeah. a monster personally i think these are better than some of the final fantasy games out there this oh, yeah. this whole song this whole game soundtrack is, is amazing that's nice. Yeah, that's that's real nice. All right, why yeah. don't you abruptly shut this off so we can go to Chris Sandwich and his pick. The Chris Sandwich. I think we need to say that like bigger. You know what bigger? I mean? Yeah, it's a sandwich. But it's a Chris Sandwich. It's a Chris Sandwich. It's not just a sandwich. It's not just a sandwich. It's not just sandwich. It's Chris Sandwich. Oh, nice. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. What about Sandwich Bit? Uh, or sandwich for the win. <laughs> <laughs> we or need to get a bunch of sandwiches sandwich. in here. <laughs> and we'll have the recipe on the website. Anyways, pick? My, my pick was the uh, Green Hill Zone uh, theme from Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. Do, classic. Do. Oh, boy, this is a super classic remake. I've already, awesome. I've already lost all my coins. Like my, <laughs> my rings. Your rings. What is it? I think the first thing you do in this where you jump up and there's a shield there and then you jump yeah. and then the fish come up. I, I miss the those, shield. If you get hit by the fish, you're like a retard, but the yeah. bee hits you. The bee, it's will a get bee, you. the bee will get you. And like you'll run and you you always jump and then the, the, the fish jumps up and gets you every single time. I dare to say I probably say played at least five different versions of this game. Or maybe I've, I've had this game on every single like platform you could ever have it. I'm having yep. every cell phone, every the, the game console, every computer, I've em with emulators, yeah. everything. I bought this game. I've downloaded this game. I've, this song has been my ringtone for every phone I've ever had. It's been on every computer. I mean, this song has been it for me. I think Chris Sandwich is winning as far as like the, yeah, cool, the coolest song. I think he might like this song. Yeah, it's a, a little lot. bit. 
Dude, I was walking through the mall the other day and I heard a kid playing, uh, it must have been Sonic CD or something like that on his, on his, uh, his iPhone. And I was just like, ah, oh, cool. Another kid gamer getting into nostalgia games, you know? Like, I'm glad that there's there's options for kids nowadays to play games that I played as a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like they're not, if it's not a, they don't have an NES, they're not going to be able to play it, but it's on iPhone, they'll totally play it. So I'm glad that they'll have those nostalgia feelings when they grow up, kind of. You know, they, you always use the nostalgia word, you know, so it's, you, you play the games just because you like them in the past, but, you know, we're still playing these, we're still playing these games, the kids are still playing these games, you have games that are coming out now, and within two months they go down to like 20 bucks or 10 bucks mm -hmm. and no one's playing them. Yeah. And yeah. people are still playing Sonic 20 years later. Yeah. And still remixing the same music and still using it, and it's, it, there's a reason. Yeah, it, and people hate on Sonic because of the new 3D games, but you know, like the Sonic Generations, and you know, they're putting more time into it, and they're actually putting more time into their PC ports, which I'm happy about because their last ones were really bad. That's actually my favorite part of Sonic Gen Generations when they brought this song back and put it because they've always done variations, you know, the Green Hill Zone, and you know, they've changed the song up a little bit when they brought it back with Generations. They they brought the callback to this actual track. Which yeah, is and this whole this is from the uh, this song's from the uh, Generations um, soundtrack, and there's there's, they have this one, and they have a modernized version of it too, which is like a little bit heavier. It's actual real instruments too. It's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's perfect. perfect. When I got Generations, like if you like, you know, unlock the classic Sonic levels, like you walk over to it, and it like, plays like a little preview of the song, and it would mm. this song, and I would just walk over to it and set the controller down, just <laughs> like, walk around and just do like my I'm general cool. business, and <laughs> just have this song just playing in the background. I win. <laughs> Can you only do that for like uh, eight minutes and eight some odd minutes? You had a time. Yeah, there was a timer, wasn't there? Yeah. No, I mean, just you walk up and you walk up and to like highlight it, oh, and yeah. it would just not oh, yeah, actually yeah, go into right, the level. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it would just constantly cycle that same loop, and I would constantly listen to it. Yep. Yeah, I, I have a cool one, but it's not as cool as uh, your guys's. Your guys's. Use use guys. I yes. have one. It's it's from a pretty amazing game on any level, um, and there is a lot of levels, and they're all amazing too. This one is a Kingdom Hearts. And the, uh, the the main theme song for it. they use it for all their ga the Game Boy Advance or all the ones they use. It's a dearly mm. beloved is the song name, and it just it's just one of those piano tunes. It's just I yeah, it's beautiful for one. I'll say it. I'll say it. Beautiful. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care. I'll say it. I'll say it. Don't Her care. dress is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I'll say it. Her and dress is beautiful. Stunning. What? He's a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And it's just one of those songs that like I, every time I hear it, I had it as my ringtone, as my mm. phone, of course. And just every time I hear it, I just kind of get goosebumps. You know, just it's yeah. one of those songs. It's actually my roommate's ringtone, so I hear it all the time. Yeah, I didn't think Kingdom Hearts was gonna work when I first. Saw oh, it. me neither. I me saw neither. it. I honestly the, thought it was the dumbest. Uh, yeah, thing I was like, I saw this, and I was like, what retard just ruined Final Fantasy for me? And um, they didn't. No, but they <laughs> absolutely not. So I, much uh, better. Yeah. They I was did proven great game, wrong. Mm -hmm. new battle. Symmetrics. I, everything was new, fresh, and it was cool. It was done great. It was done great, and that's why the franchise has been so successful. Yeah, I'm surprised they have so many different versions of it. I was looking at through all these different soundtracks, and they got like four different ones on the Game Boys, the, yeah. the, the, on the uh, the DSs and whatnot, and um, you know the I think there's a PSP version also. I don't know, but they have like remakes. There's like the final mix. So there's like just a bunch of them. So I'm still waiting for Kingdom Hearts three. Kingdom Hearts three. Well, that's our picks. Well, that's for what the we're week. thankful for. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thanks. Yeah, man, thank you, those Thank games. you, those thanks. songs. Yeah. Here we go. So it was Mario <laughs> Galaxy, Sonic, Chrono Cross, uh -huh. and Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. There yeah. you go. Thank you, guys. Now go to your video game consoles and rest. And <laughs> now we have our new segment, uh, which is uh, well, we, we want to keep bringing this back, but it's called the Satch Crystal Ball. It's where we speculate on different topics or whatever that be and we'll, we'll put up our own personal opinions on things like we don't ever do that anyway and but we'll actually uh speculate on uh hopefully intelligent topics you know Nate, i think you should tell the audience exactly how we really you know get these topics going we actually put our hands collectively on this giant ball right here and it's we in mark's just... pants <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh. That ruined everything I was going to say. <laughs> everything. It's made of crystal. So, um, yeah, let's get on with the show. Whoa. Sorry, should I take my hand out of your pants? <laughs> so we're supposed to be talking about the uh, Wii yeah. U. Uh, yeah. Would you like the first question? Uh, well, we're all going to talk about the first question, but uh, the Wii U just dropped. 
Mm -hmm. And it is, again, we, Nintendo has been known, as Chris Sandwich said uh, earlier, just really trying things new with the video game industry and uh, video, you know, video game entertainment in general. And uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it hasn't. Uh, let's get, let's first get a, a first example of Nintendo trying something new and it didn't work. What what do you guys have in the history of gaming as far as working with mm, Virtual Boy? boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's like the first thing that comes to mind. But yeah. you know, like it's Nintendo has always been kind of a gimmicky thing, even yeah. though but they make the gimmicks work. You know, it's I feel like the the uh, the di the mini discs on the GameCube were a gimmick. The handle on the GameCube was a gimmick. But like with the Wii, you know, that was actually kind of intuitive. It wasn't you know with with the Connect. That's that's kind of laggy, you know. Yeah. You, yeah. Like, you use it; it's, it doesn't feel smooth. But with the Wii U, I mean, with the Wii rather, it's like it's not the best control uh, arrangement you could have. But, but it wasn't but, ever supposed to be. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it worked for what it what it is trying to do. You know, a lot of companies did try to make games for it. And they, they forced it onto their games, or it was like an afterthought. Like, oh, here's our game. Oh, let's try and oh, wiggle this to do whatever on this game, and it didn't work. But you know, when you actually tried and focused it around your game, it made sense. Yeah. You know, and I'm glad that for the Wii U, now Nintendo's not forcing. In the companies to use their proprietary mm -hmm. settings and control schemes. You know, they, they let them freedom to do it instead it, of forcing it into it. It's kind it. of the first time, at least in my opinion, that Nintendo's kind of like going with the proven formula. Like they're they're kind of not copying, but they're going with, you know, what has already worked for other companies rather than trying to reinvent. In what, in what way, though? What are you trying to say? <clears throat> well, I'm trying to, you know, definitely they're you're changing it up with this new system. There's a lot of things that this that the Wii U is doing that has never been done before, or at least you know in this way. But they're also kind of going after the the hardcore gamer that they've been kind of neglecting for so long. Like they're going with the Call of Duties and the Assassin's Creed and the Batmans. They got they got their Pro controller, their mm -hmm. Pro controller, which is their Pro Xbox controller, yeah. <laughs> and they're kind of just taking what has already been done and finally going in and trying to throw their hat in the ring. And just to add on, like you know, the Pro controller, the we now are HDMI capable. The graphics are ready to go with this new Wii. They can handle it. They're what you want to see. You're not going to get the game and be like disappointed. Like, oh, if I had this in my PlayStation 3 or Xbox, it would look a lot better. You're going you're gonna to feel great with it. But I want to hit on something that you said earlier about just the technology and going on with the new technology. They took the Wii remote and they made it into a tablet. And now you can use that tablet with your system and just, you know, just an entire mode. It's an entire new motion experience they basically brought the the dual screen from their ds to over to their console right essentially yeah. and it honestly makes things very easy uh, it, it makes honestly especially party play very easy definitely you do have one person sitting on that control but honestly this control is as big as these it's between a mini tablet size and an actual full tablet it's seven it's, inches right six right inches it's seven. it's big and it's light people like look at it like oh that thing's heavy not at all resistive like, touchscreen though it's a big difference i would honestly say it's probably as light as a wii remote like honestly, I could honestly say that it's wide as it's wide as all hell. Yeah, it, it looks it looks big and bulky, but like, it really it looks, isn't. It is. But you know yeah. why it's 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 light is because they skimped on the battery. You know, <laughs> if if it's only la it's only gonna last approximately three hours, which is for some people not gonna give a whole gaming session. You're gonna have to True. stop and charge it. You know, and I feel like for that three hour time period, it's like. You, you know, you're feeling like you're gonna be worrying about it. I don't want to have right. to sit here and think well, about things I have to charge while I'm playing my game. Well, the screen right. will just pop and say, "Time, time to take a break." Exactly. Press the A button and charge your <laughs> tablet. Exactly. And it'll, it'll, it'll do go that. outside and play. It'll do that. The hardcore gamers will get a you know Mad Cat's extra battery pack, some third party battery pack that will add on to there or whatnot. And I'm pretty sure they'll probably drop one soon because that is uh, that is awful. You know what I mean? Honestly, with this this controller is going to is it's literally the new highlight. Nothing else is honestly that. Different from the Wii. Oh, the, the Wii, it, the Wii it, U is the Wii. Yeah. It's the Wii. It's not anything else new. Nintendo is not the new red Nintendo. You know, it's still a Wii, and it's absolutely that. It's honestly just a souped up Wii. And they've been focusing on the tablet a lot to the point where some people aren't even sure. They're like, "Oh, does that controller uh, work with the Wii?" Like, like even my buddy, my other buddy Mark. You know, we were t he, he plays games like Hitman and stuff like that. And my I mentioning the Wii U to him. He's like, oh, does that work with the Wii? And it's like, no, it doesn't. And so, but people are confused about it. They think the the tablet is the Wii U. That you know, the system it drives off is the original Wii. It's, yeah. It, it they and Nintendo did not do, in my opinion, a very good job of clearing that up for anybody. They didn't. No. They didn't. It's it was it's this. I feel like this has been one of their most low key 
kind of uh, system drops marketing wise like it's just been like some people don't even know that it's coming out honestly you know? I mean like I mean I know we where's had the, where's the hype I, I know we had some huge titles and I'm like still to suffocate a console release especially something as big as Nintendo um, but again like you know I, I don't know you know marketing America could always be whatever yeah you know so I mean? um, do, do you think it's gonna outsell the Wii <clears throat> Uh, the I'll tell the Wii the like just, from the numbers from the like you know what the experience that we had before. Yep. Just, e- yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I I say no. I do not think that at the end of the day the Wii U will outsell the Wii. By the end of its lifetime, you don't think it will? I I yes, I do not think it will. Okay. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I also agree with Chris Sandwich <laughs> because the price Ugh. point for the original Wii was super low compared to everything else that was out on the market, so that's why it sold so much. And right now, with the Wii U coming out at what, three hundred and three fifty, like that's a little more pricey. And I don't know if people will be willing to shell out as much as they did for other systems. Are you, okay, I, I'm again. This is I'm glad this is speculation session. The Wii had to compete with it was it was super cheap compared mm-hmm. to our original Xbox three sixty and our uh, PlayStation the upcoming 3. PS three. Yeah, they were outstandingly ridiculously priced mm-hmm. I mean like honestly I feel like a lot of people bought the Wii just because they couldn't even afford right it was yeah a, it, was a perfect price. it was a perfect price it point. was a perfect you know, price. Yes. It, 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 came I mean? out, it came at the right time right you know and I okay from, from my personal opinion I think I think it won't always either just because you know it's it's gonna be popular for this first year because it's the only new console out there and right. people have been dying for something new uh, something for them to spend their money on but I think when the new consoles come out and Xbox, you know Xbox is going to start showing their stuff really soon. Yeah. Uh, They're going to have to. They, they have to. And so people are going to get more excited about that. And I know with all the with, – even with Call of Duty and how popular that is right now, those kind of gamers are, are the ones that are going to be excited for the new consoles, the ones that they could play their new Call of Duty on. And, yeah, you probably play the new Call of Duty on the Wii U. But people are still ha- probably going to have that stigma of what, you know, you're not going to play Call of Duty competitively on the Wii. Yeah. Are you going to be yeah. able to do it on your Wii U? No one really knows yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys make some good points. Absolutely. Um, I'm even more worried. I guess, you know, if the marketing on both ends of the marketing goes to shit, it, it'll, it won't do it well at all. I mean, like, you know, but I can see even Microsoft pushing the Xbox back six months. I, mm-hmm. I, I could feel that in my gut. They're like, oh, 2000, summer 2014, sorry. Whoops. You know, but, and that'll give we a little bit more time to flourish, but still, um, it's not, you know, they're going to have to really push their marketing to really kind of show everybody why they are so amazing. Because it's, you know, the graphics wise is not much more. You know, I mean, oh. we we don't know yet. That's the thing. It's yeah. just like the new consoles; they're they could be amazing. They could be not that visually different, and so people aren't going to be confused because it's very different with the Wii U. I'm sorry, the Wii and the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Yeah, you can clearly see a difference, uh, especially with the lack of HD, uh, HDMI in it. But you know, with this one, it may not be quite as easy to tell the difference. And you're just like, why would I go with this new Xbox when it doesn't look that much different? And I get a cool freaking tablet I can play on the toilet. You know, yeah. I want to play Mario Kart on the toilet. Let me th- let me do that, Xbox. <laughs> well, speaking of next-gen systems, how do you think the Wii U will compete with those? <laughs> like graphically, just sales-wise. Own oh, sales-wise, um, you know, I think it's just, it's going to taper off. It's definitely going to be popular this year, and mm-hmm. I, I think uh, this time next year, the Wii U, unless they have some killer games come out real soon, uh, I think the the new Xbox is just going to. You know, Personally, I'm an Xbox fan, but I think it's just gonna it's gonna take its limelight. I I would have to agree with you on that. I mean, right now the Wii U, as you know, again we keep saying with with the tablet, it is it is new, it is fresh. You know, the proprietary, the the first party Nintendo stuff is gonna be awesome, and it's gonna be it's gonna be definitely different. If hopefully it's going to be different, the new Smash Brothers, the new Mario Kart, right. the new Mario games are gonna be incredible on this tablet. But the third party stuff, um, the Call of Duties, the Assassin's Creeds, we have them, we have them already. Mm-hmm. We we're playing them on Xbox, we're playing them on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Um, when we get a new version of that with the new Xbox, with the new PlayStation, I feel like the Wii is just, a, I mean, it's its great now, but it's it is a little too, it's coming in with their next big hit at the tail end of this generation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So once we get offered, it, I mean, it's all in Microsoft and Sony's court. I mean, they could come out and they could fail with new consoles. Yeah. But if these new, if these new consoles really do change the game, I feel like the Wii U is going to fizzle out much faster than yeah. the Wii did. No, I, you, yeah. I mean, uh, I feel like the Wii U finally caught up graphically. 
to what Xbox 360 and PS3 have been doing for years. Yeah. And once their next gen systems come out, they're going to be left behind again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, talking. guys, we finally made it. Yeah. <laughs> we're here. Really cool. you guys are, we're like we're you here. Guys, oh. You guys are saying a lot of things, a lot of great things, and um, you're right. I mean, it, de- it definitely just seems like an upgrade, not uh, not a new, mm-hmm. not anything new. There's an upgrade, and again, like I love the upgrade. I think it's great, and I think it's outclassing um, just interaction-wise the pl- Xbox and PlayStation. But like you're right, you know if they if they go new, the PlayStation 4 isn't the PlayStation 3, and if the Xbox th- um, 720 isn't the place, I mean the Xbox 360, then the, pl- the yeah, Wii, if those are more Wii, than just upgrades. The, the Wii, Wii U can, the Wii yeah. U can handle. Yeah, there's it, no way it won't be able to handle. I, I think the main plus for the Wii U is that Nintendo always focuses on being able to play in your living room with your friends. You know, in the Xbox, there's like a handful of games that people want to play with their friends online. Even Call of Duty uh, won't let you sync up other Xboxes and it'll let you do only two people per screen and whatnot. But I mean, my point is that Nintendo's always been about being on the living room with your with your friends or your family and playing there. With party games online. and being, yeah. f- right. being with your friends and I, playing I, the I think now the fact that you could have five people playing on one console with that tablet, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. So, uh, all right, well... Um, so I think uh, we got what is it? You you're good with uh, you saying the Wii's gonna be good? Yeah. But versus, so one says, versus three. I one versus three. I'm not three. saying I'm, the Wii's not gonna be good. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. It's just mean, not good. Well, Chris hates well. the Wii U. Bad yeah. word. We're cases. talking about sales. I'm talking mm-hmm. about. I, I feel the, uh, the the Wii U is gonna outsell the original Wii. I feel like it does have an opportunity to do that. And um, as far as online experience or comparison, that it could it can. Um, also compete with our big guys right now. Yeah, absolutely. I guess time will tell. Time will tell. Time it's just, will a, it's tell. just a little time. It's so much. Oh my god. There's we'll so we'll much definitely out there. come back to it and see who was right and wrong. Yeah, um, yeah. And and shove uh, it in Mark's face. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, you know, there was a lot of talk today, but a lot of great talk, and you know, we love you guys' feedback as well. So be sure to hit us up on the Facebook again at Facebook slash S A T C H V G M Derek Karam. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fade out with one of my songs. Um, yeah, that was just so you know, I was just warm me up, <laughs> no, a little warm up yeah, for you. I mean, because we're about to get this food, right? Yeah, this, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of excited for the food right now. Yeah, we have I'm some hungry. food laid out for us. So we're just gonna eat it real quick. Um, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll fade out with one of my songs. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, this is Nate Bit, Just uh, Mark, you got it. Um, Chris yeah, Sandwich. Whatever his guys' names are, Chris Sandwich, and Ed, Ed for, for the, the win. win. All right, guys. Well, uh, chow down. All right. No. Mm.